All right, guys, I'm back. We got more, more great stuff. We're on our, I guess it's not going to be 365. I'm not sure what it is, but I'm committed to creating one of these videos every day for you guys for a whole year, Monday through Saturday. I'm going to be pumping out this content. I take a rest with the family on Sunday. So Monday through Saturday, we're, we're knocking these out. We're at video seven. I'm super pumped about this. Uh, before we get started, I'm going to tell you how super motivated I am about something that happened yesterday. Uh, we were able to figure out how to get audio back into the video and that was great. Uh, but the two were not paired up. They weren't synced. So took me about an hour and a half to figure out how to do it, but that trial produced this video, which hopefully has the audio and video synced perfectly in unison with one another, creating a beautiful piece of content. Now, I am a little bit upset about yesterday, but I'm going to continue to learn through the trial because somebody reported the video for spam. So live is no longer an option. I am not able to go live until that strike that somebody put out there, <clears throat> excuse me, gets cleared. All, so until March, all the videos are going to be uploaded like this. But the beauty of this is I get to play around with a whole bunch of new tools and figure out how to actually edit video and compile video into great little snippets for you. So without further ado, let's get going. Today's topic is how often should I be posting to my social network? Okay, guys, the, the question is locked and loaded, and it, it, it's a great question. I really love it, and I appreciate all the guys on Facebook uh, that we did some brainstorming, and I asked a bunch of people for, you know, what, what do you guys want to know about? What do you want to hear about? And this is one that came up about how often are you creating content, and I have to be honest. I challenge myself throughout the day, what are you doing right now? What are you doing? The number of times I find myself doing this and just scrolling. It's like, no, stop. Are you creating content? Are you doing something of value? What are you doing right now? Are you working on your clients? Are you creating content? Are you promoting something? It has to be applicable. You have to be doing it. So the first thing that we've got to get to, and it's going to work towards the answering the question at the very end, but the first thing you got to answer is, are you doing things of value all the time? Um, because when you're creating content, one of the big things that comes up is the limit on your time. There never seems to be enough time to create the content that I need to for all of the different networks that I'm using. The reality is if you look at most of your day, chances are you're not really applying yourself the way that you could. You're not, you're not excelling to the level that you could because there's so much of this gap time, this air time that you're not filling properly. So the first step that you wanna do is look at your day and go, okay, am I committing my time to the resources that need to be created? That's the first step, okay guys? So step number one, how often should you post? First, look at your time. Are you using it wisely? Is it where you need it to be? Step two, step two. So step one was, that's right, are you using your time effectively? Step two, what networks are you engaging in? The reality is not every network is for everybody. So know your business, know your, your product, your service, uh, your audience, what you're trying to achieve, where you're trying to go, and target the networks that you need to hit. So before you even think about, okay, well, what content am I gonna create? I need a schedule, I need a pattern, I need to post this every now and then. Stop, stop everything. Instead, what you should be doing is going, okay, where do I need to connect? Where do I see the opportunity? How can I engage with the audience that is relevant to what I am doing? And if the answer is everywhere, okay, well, great. Actually write down what everywhere looks like. Everywhere looks like Pinterest, Tumblr, uh, Tumblr uh, YouTube, Canva, uh, LinkedIn, Kick, Snapchat, Instagram, Google+, Facebook, name the channels off, but make yourself an actual list that you can go down and go, okay, here's all the networks I'm going to create content for. Okay, so creating that list and understanding where is it that I actually want to create content for is going to be crucial in succeeding with the ultimate question of how often should I be creating content. Okay, step three, here we go. Last one, I promise. I like to keep it simple. One, two, three, off we go. Okay, so how often should you be creating content? Well, that's really easy. Now you know how much time in the day that you have to use and you know which networks you're trying to hit. So start at the list, look at which networks are most important for you as far as engaging with an audience and start knocking them off. I have time, one off the list, create the content, take however long it takes. Next, knock it off the list. Next, knock it off the list. Same procedure over and over and over until your day ends. And that's how much content you should be creating. That's how much content you should be creating. Um, so in a day for me, I know that I'm able to knock out I, I put out a Medium article a day. I'm tweeting regularly throughout the day, depending on the content that I'm putting out. So every time I 
create content, I go ahead and throw that out. I put it into the social feed in all the networks. So those all count as posts. Um, I make sure I'm engaging in Facebook several times a day, at least twice a day I'm in there because I know that in my time frame. I know that I can fit that in there. I'm on Canva three times a day creating Instagram posts. I post to Instagram five times a day, three in the story, two on the main page, and then whatever I can have time for throughout the day to, to fill that gap. YouTube, one video a day. It's a commitment, but I've gone through that and gone, okay, how much time can I dedicate? Where can I dedicate it to? and then just going and creating the content. Don't really hammer down a specific, this is how much content, content I can create in today and how often I should be putting it out. Instead, go, I will create as much content as I possibly can in a day. And some days you may only get three networks done because you really focused on a YouTube video or you created a medium blog that turned into, uh, instead of just a medium article, it became a medium book. And that's awesome. If you're inspired to create content in a different channel or a different medium, on any given day, great, do that. That's it for today, guys. I am always looking for great questions for me to answer on these videos. So if you have anything, if you have questions you wanna answer, uh, you want answered, if you have thoughts on the video, if you have thoughts on how to improve it, I wanna hear those things. So go ahead and drop them in the comments down there and I'll read them. I'll read every single comment. And as proof that I'm reading the comments, I'll probably reply to them. Um, hopefully this video eventually has so many comments on it that I'm not able to keep up, but. I'm gonna make an effort, guys, for the for that first year while I'm creating this content, I wanna to reply to every comment that comes in on the video. So huge thanks for that. If you liked the video, found it helpful, you know what to do, go ahead and share it out. Share it out. And uh, over here, I think there's a subscribe button down here. So just give that some love, give that some love. And we'll catch you guys tomorrow with another great video.